I met up with my family in Panama for a little bit of a holiday before I head back to Australia. I'm sorry for this rather discombobulated video. I seem to always forget that filming with my family is no easy task. <laughs> My world experience is about trying new things, Here I go. pushing limits, and spontaneous adventures. It's about the moment and what being open can bring. So subscribe and let's go do the dang thing. Panama. I really had no idea what to expect. I'd done zero research before arriving. Luckily, my mom had it all sorted. Legend. This lovely lady invited us to try some typical Panamanian dishes partake in a birthday festival, and see some traditional dancing. We took the obligatory Panama Canal tour. There were no boats coming, so my mom bragged about how cool she was, having already seen it. So we abandoned that and went off to Boca de Toros to see a different part of Panama.
Book of the Tauros is, is quite different from anywhere else that we've been in Panama because it's well set up for tourism and uh, I mean, I'm in a hammock. It's basically made for relaxing and chilling by the beach. And that's exactly what we've done. It's been a really nice little relaxing time. Um, although we have been traveling fast in Panama, but that's, yeah. Right now on the schedule, it's basically been eating food, napping, and repeating. <laughs> and then maybe a swim or two in between that. But the water is just, it's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I'm a bit disappointed in in how um, tours are run here with very little consideration for the wildlife. There was a spot that we all jumped in to swim, which was beautiful with lots of coral and, and fish swimming all around. There was uneducated people on what could kill the coral. So we had just, I could see lots of people just standing on it. And it's such a, a delicate thing that was kind of heartbreaking, but um, one of the guys on our tour like sat down and told everyone about that, which was really cool to see. Um, and kind of let the tour guides know that if they didn't start stopping people from stepping on the coral, that they wouldn't have anything to show people in the future. So that was quite a, a cool thing for him to do and, and for us to see, because I often don't see that. Um, and people stepping up to say, like, listen, guys, you need to be a little bit more respectful to the areas that we're going into. So um, I hope there's some change that comes um, with the tourism that is around this area so that people want to walk away a little bit more educated in what they can and can't do <laughs> regarding that and um, that the coral is preserved here. And, yeah. It's been a, a really nice little holiday and I don't know if I'd necessarily come back to these places again, um, but I'm certainly glad I got to see them. Um, I think next time I come back to Panama, it'd be really interesting to do some sort of um, road trip. Even though, from what I've seen, it's, it's pretty hectic on the roads. Um, but I think it'd be interesting to go into different areas instead of just the places you can get to by plane or short drive away from Panama City. But I love Panama so far. But anyway. Next week, these hooligans get a little bit more used to the camera as we sail around the sandblast islands. Sit to my face. <laughs> How about if they get closer? <laughs> I will hate you more. <laughs>